I recall crying in the street because I was covered in poo and my baby was covered in poo and people were just looking at me like, what, what is she doing? Most people with a new baby will just really suffer um, at night time, especially when it's your first baby and you've gone from, you know, sleeping maybe six, eight hours in one long stretch to having this new baby who is probably going to be waking you up every hour and a half, two hours, possibly even more than that. The cleaning can totally wait, but you actually really do need to sleep. So when my son used to nap, I would be on the sofa, fast asleep, gone. And it made the world of difference to me. Just getting that extra like hour's sleep made me feel like a real person again. When you have a newborn baby with this tiny little head, it can be quite difficult to sort of manoeuvre your way around. And I had to hold the baby and hold my boob and try and feed like this. And it was really, really difficult. About 4 p.m. until about 8 or 9 p.m. until she went to sleep, she would just cry and I just didn't know, I, I wasn't expecting it. I thought you just fed babies, they cried if they were hungry, or cried if they were tired. I didn't realize that they just cried for no reason. I remember having these nightmares that I'd left the baby in bed after I'd breastfed him, and I'd wake up and go, where's that baby? And my husband would just be like, in the Moses basket, next to the bed, we do I was in labor for two and a half days, and ended up having an emergency cesarean. So that was the time I thought, right, everything I've just read of this, you know, beautiful, calm birth and all that, no, that didn't apply to me. It was like I'd been hit with a ton of bricks. I could not believe how much pain I was going to go through and how much pain, even at the beginning, it, it was. Well, whatever works for someone doesn't necessarily work for you. Um, and I learned that too. I would give people advice when I had my, just my daughter, thinking that whatever I did for her would work for them, but I had my son and it was, everything was completely different. So I think you really have to kind of trust your instincts. People do think that they know best, but actually nine times out of 10, you know best. The pressure you put on yourself to be like other people or to be coping better like other people is, is huge. And that, for me was the most important thing to not put pressure on myself and to accept that I'm doing okay, my child is thriving. It's okay just to stay home. And it's okay if she only has a bath once or twice a week. Um, and it's okay if you put the television on every day. I just felt like I had to do everything and I had to be superwoman because you have two kids, you have to do it all. Um, and I just wish someone had told me that it's okay if you skip a few things and if you have a few shortcuts, it's not the end of the world. I know how hard it is when you're not sleeping or when your baby's teething or when you're not quite sure what's wrong with them. But when you've got teenage children like I have, you will look back one day and you will miss the baby days so much. It's unbelievable how quick they actually grow and that time just goes like that. So enjoy your time with your baby. Close the world around outside. Don't worry about any washing up or anything else. Just enjoy the time with your baby.